Hello, when you first come into the studio, we'll bring you in and you're able to put your bags and anything else you'd like on the table and arrange any papers. We've got alcohol washes and cloths so you can maintain very important hygiene at the moment and any necessary distancing. You see we've got sound, sound boards along here and acoustic curtains which will actually isolate the sound and stop any leakage so people going past although they will see our recording signs it gives us an extra layer from any extraneous noises coming into your recording. If you'd like to follow me through. You do have a number of markings on the floor to guide you through your route that we would like you to take when you come in. Now, if you'd like to come along and position yourself behind the lectern, what will happen next is we will run through all the options you've got available and any sort of communications that we may need to have whilst you're filming. Obviously, we don't want to have too many communications, but we want to have enough to deliver the best possible film recording for your lecture. So on my right, we have the light board. You might notice that there are some suspended lights just above you and microphones. You might find these a little bit bright at first, but we have tried to optimize the positioning so that they do not cause too much glare or irritation on your eyes. We don't want you standing there squinting, obviously, but we want you to be lit as well as possible. Moving round, we have our main camera, here, which will capture you whilst you are at the lectern. And when we need to step back, we will go to a wider shot where we can see you not so full on, but just to sort of give it the atmosphere of the room. And also if you want to move around, we can track you, not in the sinister way. <laughs> just here we have the camera, the temporary camera at the moment, which is focusing upon the light board where you may notice some writing to focus people into the area that are going to be writing their equations, which is very important so that the people watching your lecture recording can actually see all of your equations. Significant tip is to wear something dark or step away from the writing when you've done the writing, because otherwise it may be lost against your paisley or checkered top or a light light colored top so if possible either step to the side we're not trying to dictate your fashion choices to you or have something dark so that all of your equations can be seen against you we've got a station for your laptop we have a visualizer for your papers and teaching material. We have a monitor just behind the lectern where you'll be able to align your papers so you know exactly what people are seeing rather than halfway or... And you can turn off the autofocus if necessary if you tend to move a lot of things around. Moving round, we have various equipment where, where I will be sitting. And all this is capturing all of the inputs and switching between them and being displayed on the mix board. So currently camera four looks black, but that is because it's set up to look at the light bulb. When you step behind that, you will appear as if by magic, perfectly lit and perfectly audible. Perfect. 
So when you come into the studio, um, let's assume you've got some slides with you, so please bring your laptop computer with you. Um, in the studio itself, we have an HDMI connected to connect to, a uh, standard one like in all the lecture theatres before, and we'll have the adapters here um, that you used before. Um, so just be mindful, um, you need to bring a laptop computer. If you don't have your own laptop comp uh, computer, you can borrow one from the IT team. Just let them know in advance, please. And the reason why we um, don't provide the computer is just from um, a coronavirus point of view that we want to make sure everything is as hygienic as possible and we can wipe down the surfaces before and after a new lecturer comes. Um, so that's just a reason for that. Now, once you arrive, you can set up your computer um, if you have slides. So let me just uh, get off some old lectures, get on some old lectures here. I'll just open that. Um, and so I'll load my slides up um, and then I connect my computer and that will be then one of the input sources. So Robin will take care of juggling all the different input sources for you. Um, and so I've now connected my computer. I can um, make this full screen. And of course, it doesn't work properly. Yeah, there we are. Yeah. Um, so I made this full screen. So Robin, you could just um, yeah, switch over. Perfect. So these are just some more lecture slides. You can, you can have them full screen. Um, we can, while you're in this mode, also have a picture-in-picture. Picture. So there's a, there's a sort of um, close-up camera that we've got that's right in front of you when you lecture. Um, and that can appear uh, in any corner of, of the screen. We can change the size of this as well, uh, uh, but that needs a little bit of adjustment at the beginning, so we can, we can talk through what preference you've got. Um, just let us know, and then we can record you while you present your slides, so you can go through them, and then you can you can use the pointer on the slides just as you would normally. Now this is the the, the close-up view. So while you're at the lectern, there are essentially two views that can um, can be used, and Robin can switch between them. The close-up is is good for the um, for the slide in slide as well, and if, when you want to really talk directly uh, to your audience. And then we have a view which is a bit wider. Um, to give you uh, some more context of the room, and so we can make it visually a little bit more appealing to the students uh, to find out how the lecture is set up and so on. You don't need to worry too much about um, any of those angles. Um, uh, Robin will do this for you and uh, will work with you. Um, and as you record your lectures over the course of the recordings, you can work out a something that works for, for you and that you think looks good. Um, and just you can work as much with it and as little as, as it, uh, with it as you like. Yeah. So <clears throat> in terms of the close-up view, it's important um, to look into the camera directly if possible. Yeah, so this will take a little bit of getting used to um, in the beginning because you can't see any context, of course, um, but you will get used to it very quickly and we'll, we'll help you do that. So those are the, the slides and the, and the views that we've got from the lectern. But on the lectern as well, um, we've got the, um, the visualizer here as well. So the, the visualizer is um, the, the same model, so it's one from the, from the lecture theaters. So if you've used the visualizers in the past, um, it'll be exactly the same. It's got the uh, different zoom settings. Um, you can zoom in and out um, of this. Um, you, can, you can focus and you can adjust if and when and, and, and as needed. So when you, when you work with a visualizer, you can see the content of the visualizer right in front of you on a small screen that's outside the shot. So you can, you can align your objects um, and you can check that everything's in focus very, very easily. Um, and we would think that the default position while you work with a visualizer is you can, you can be filmed on the, on the close-up. Um, so you can appear as a picture in picture like you are right now. Okay, so if you want to work with a visualizer, that's possible. If you want to work with slides, that's possible, no problem at all. Um, and the other option that we have is to work with a light board. 
Now the light board, um, let me go over um, to the light board. Um, that's the setup over here. And the light board is essentially a large sheet of glass. Uh, you're, you're facing the sheet of glass. Behind the sheet of glass you can see the camera. So there's another camera that points at you. Um, and ar around this pane of glass, you can't see it quite now in, in this shot, are, are some lights. And there is also an LED strip that goes into the, into the glass in front of you. So you've got this, this, this sheet of glass, um, pretty wide, like a, a standard sort of um, whiteboard size. And you can write on it uh, with these special pens. So these are fluorescent marker pens. Um, and the nice thing is, if you if you write on the white uh, on on this light board, uh, you can you can see that the writing um, becomes really bright, and it, it it is very easy to read against this dark background. So we've got a, a dark uh, background here um, uh, behind you to give the best contrast between the writing on the light board and um, the surrounding. And so you can use this to, to visualize, um, you can derive equations, you can draw figures on here. Um, you can work with it just like you would with a, with a normal whiteboard. Um, and the nice thing about it is that um, even though you're filmed through the opposite way, the image automatically gets flipped around. So you can write in the normal direction, obviously I can't write backward very, very nicely. Um, and it'll get captured as you, as you write in the in the mirrored view um, so there's no additional editing that's required on your video after you've finished so you can you can you can draw on this you can use different colors um, and some of those colors come out brighter than than others so let's see this is blue that um, uh, works quite well as well the pink doesn't work too well so i probably recommend sticking with the bright colors so you can you can add your labels here, um, um, and you can you can draw a graph, uh, and you can do math or whatever it is that you would normally do at a at a, at a whiteboard. It's important to um, try and work slightly offset from 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 your writing. Now I'm wearing a, a relatively dark top at the moment, but if you wear something bright and you stand right in front of it, the students will not be able to read it very well. So I guess the only thing um, you, you need to keep in mind is maybe to, to start working a little bit offset. But you've got a screen behind um, the, the light board as well where you can see yourself in real time. You can uh, start to learn how to position yourself relative to the board. On the board itself, there are markers that show you what the space is that you can write within. So it's all very clear when, you, when you're here. Um, and the cleaning of the board takes a little bit longer than uh, the normal whiteboard, um, but we can edit this out at the end. You can see, um, you, can, you can just wipe it off with a microfiber cloth. We've got that all here, um, but you need to be a little bit more mindful of the smudges because everything will be very brightly lit, of course. But um, we can speed this cleaning procedure up afterwards so your students don't have to watch while you carefully clean, we can cut it out, we can speed it up. Lots of things that are very easy to edit, um, so we can work with it quite, quite nicely. Let me come over here again. Uh, the other thing I was wanting to mention is that in terms of microphones, the microphones for all these operations are fixed in place. They are uh, set up such that you don't need to wear a lapel microphone or anything else that might get contaminated at the moment or might um, require cleaning afterwards. So you don't have to worry when you come into the studio that anything that you bring along is yours um, and you don't, need to, you don't need to use any other studio equipment than these, these surfaces that, that will be cleaned down before and after your session. I think that's about it. Um, so please do let us know. Uh, get in touch with, with Robin, I guess, in the first instance, if you want to book the, the space, if you have any questions. And we really hope you enjoy this. Uh, we're open for any feedback. Um, 
This, this studio has been built relatively quickly over the last couple of weeks. So if there are things that we can improve on it, or if you have ideas um, and want to discuss anything, just let us know. We're very keen to make it work for everyone, and we hope it's useful for everyone. Thanks. Normally, it's best to stay in the area of the lectern um, when you're giving your lecture, delivering your material. Um, we can talk to you across the room, and we can also talk to you outside where the table is, and there are some available chairs if you need to stop and have a break, or just mentally prepare yourself if you're doing a number of sessions. There is a fire door, which occasionally we will open to allow for some fresh air. This is a ventilated and it has air handling, but just to get a little bit of extra air, perhaps where you might want to just see daylight. We'll go out and thankfully it stopped raining. Now, moving through, to make sure that you don't get disturbed, we do have a number of signs which will be placed outside and we have an illuminated and I'm not sure whether you can squeeze in to follow me but I'm just about to Good up here. switch on. Oh there you are. <laughs> We're just about to switch on the illuminated sign. To show that we're recording. And we also just in case people are passing by and out of out of the line of sight, we have a rather elegant outside position to let people know that we are recording. Mm -hmm. And thank you very much for joining me on this tour.